Hey guys, today I'm going to prepare something I grew up eating a lot, which is churraco with chimichurri sauce. Now, churraco, a lot of you guys out there, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Cubans, call skirt steak churrasco. That's not churrasco, that's entraña. If you don't believe me, Google it. But a churraco would be a nice big steak like this. And um, I love barbecue, but I'm indoors. I don't have a house, I have an apartment. And I, you know, I never boiled anything, but you know what, if you boil it, it comes out exactly like barbecuing. So all you gotta do is, let me tell you, no adobo, no sazon, you're, you're fucking up the meat, and I'm gonna curse, I don't care. All you need is salt. Just put some salt on both sides. My dad used to blast it every day. I didn't I didn't grow up listening to merengue or salsa. We listened to we listened to tango every day. My dad wanted me to take some tango lessons, but uh nah, we ain't doing that. He wanted me to go to Uruguayan school. I'm like, I don't even like going to regular school. What are you nuts? But listen, we go like this, put this in the oven and the on the bottom. Put it in there. Depends how you want your meat. I like it medium, so five minutes. In five minutes, you turn it around. You feel like a little well done. Eight minutes, you turn it around. And same thing, five and eight. And now I'm gonna be right back, and I'm gonna show you how to make the chimichurri sauce. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, so we're gonna flip the steaks over, and then I'm gonna make the uh, the chimichurri sauce. Get my little bear. I'm a honey bear. Hello. Get that. Look at that. Turn them over. All right. So now we're gonna make chimichurri. I'm gonna make it really fast and easy. I used to chop everything up, but you know what? I found this little little food processor. Look at the little thing. Ten dollars. National Wholesale Liquidators. Ten bucks. Drove the woman. Drove the lady crazy. But anyways, what we're gonna do? Open that up. Now pay attention. This is all you need. You need parsley, right? You put fresh parsley in there. I used to chop this up by hand. Then when I found this thing, it was great. So we put the parsley in there, and then garlic. Another thing that's easy. Peeled garlic already. It's nice and peeled. I put about, I don't know, maybe eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, let's put ten. Hey, let's make it eleven. It's still nuts. Who my kiss? Hey. Right, quiet. So listen. So what we do? We plug this in. Get that tango. Chop that up. This is even good when my uh, when my friends have barbecues in the summer. I always make it, so I'm known as the chimichurri guy. I bring this. You can even eat this with uh, with bread. You put it on bread. That's it. Done. See? So we got that right there. Nice, all chopped up. Now we gotta get something to put it in. Alright, I'm gonna put it in this little bowl. So we'll put it in there. People are like, how do you make chimichurri? It's so hard. All you gotta do is that. Chop that up. This brings back so many memories, especially listening to Tango. I used to hate it when I was little, but then, you know, when your your parents pass away, you just wish they had it playing one more time, you know? So listen, this is all you do. So now, you add olive oil, let me get the other one. Where is it? Hey! All right. Give me a second, guys, relax. So this is what we do, we put olive oil. Da -da -da. 
olive oil, salt, pepper. Easy already, right? Now, two things that a lot of people don't add, and this is why it doesn't taste good. Two simple things, oregano. Add oregano, a little more, and then, this is it, vinegar. I hate when I go to like a, a parrillada, a, a parrilla, you know, and they don't have the chimichurri, they just have vinegar, I'm sorry, olive oil, and parsley and garlic. Like where's, like what are you doing? It's like, how are you a restaurant and you don't have it correctly? So this is it. Now look, and you mix it up, and that's chimichurri. That's the actual way to make chimichurri. There's no cilantro in here. People are like, oh, you gotta add cilantro. I watch the Food Network, and I see all these chefs put cilantro. There's no cilantro. What are you doing? Stop it. You're just embarrassing yourself. So this is it. The cilantro. So I'm gonna come back in a second after the steaks are ready, and that's it. How easy was that? I hope you enjoy it. See you in a bit. All right, guys, so now let's put everything together. Let's see how the steaks came out. Oh, look at that. Nice and toasty. I'm going to take this one. Da, da, da. Put that there. Then we take the chimichurri sauce that I showed you how to make. All right, we take that. Put that right over. I just put a little bit on one side and then I smear it all over. And then, I don't know if you've seen the other video of how I made an ensalada rusa, potato salad. We take that, which we usually eat together, and there we go. Ensalada rusa con churrasco y chimichurri. This is it right here, guys. I hope you enjoy it. You know what? If you like this, make it and, t and write a comment to me of how, uh, how it came out. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. I love you. Can't wait to eat.